portal to AI-powered personalized learning for all. How low-tech solutions help to make education accessible for everyone. George Cowell, Rising Academy Network. On November 9th, 1989, I was three years old. It was only when I came to this city for the first time in my 20s that I fully grasped just how significant the wall had been and what it meant to people to see it fall. Thank you so much. I want you to think back to February 20, 2020. Seems like a long time ago now, doesn't it? But that was when the first schools began to close due to the pandemic. Within just a few months, 70% of the world's children were out of school, and parents faced a daily struggle to balance homeschooling with work and other commitments. Many of you in this room would have been among them. But as hard as that's been, I want you to imagine what that would have been like without laptops, without YouTube, without Zoom, and without apps. Because that's been the reality for 1.3 billion children around the world without access to high-speed internet. Our team at Rising Academies, who work with schools supporting more than 200,000 students across Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Ghana, have spent much of the last two years focused on developing low-cost, low-tech distance learning solutions, such as radio lessons that could be broadcast throughout the crisis. Despite reaching millions of children across more than 25 countries, working with amazing partners and brilliant governments, the sad reality is our research shows that while we did our best, it just wasn't enough. Children have been massively set back during this period. In West Africa, on average during the pandemic, children spent just 35 minutes per day on education-related activities, more than a 90% drop on normal schooling hours. The good news is that for the most part, children are now back in school. The bad news is that we also have mountains of evidence to show that even when in school, children are not learning. Across the continent, 88% of children are in schools where they will not be able to read, write, or do basic math by the time they finish grade nine. Parents, understandably, are demanding new solutions. Rory, our new AI-powered chatbot tool, seeks to offer a new way for children to learn. Children can interact with Rory on their phones in natural language using SMS, WhatsApp, or web app. Rory asks students questions and understands their answers. It then automatically adjusts its level of difficulty to find the right level of difficulty for that child, allowing children to progress at their own pace. When children get stuck, it offers short audio explanations to help children with their learning. I now want to introduce you to the wonderful Gifty Soa Okoto, who's been using Rory in Ghana for the past few months. In a moment, you're going to see Gifty doing an activity called Know the Places, which focuses on place value. The questions might seem quite simple, but we know from our work in West Africa that more than half of grade five students will get them wrong. Here's the first question. Gifty gets it right. But on the second question, she starts to struggle. After two wrong attempts, Rory knows she needs some help and offers up an audio explanation. Here it is. Place value is a value that a decade has based on where it is in the number. For example, Look at the number 582. Because the 5 is in the 100th place, it has a value of 500. Having listened, Gifty tries again. She types 30, gets the answer correct, and Rory celebrates her success. Cements that learning with some follow-up questions, and then progresses Gifty on to more complex sequences of learning. 
Typically, in Africa, to ed education technology delivered through phones has focused on test and exam preparation. Rory is different in that it focuses on teaching foundational content. With Gifty's parents' consent, she can access personalized learning anytime, any day. Because 95% of households in, in Ghana now have access to a phone, this is by far the most equitable and far-reaching way we can support children when they're out of school. But it's important to say that tools like Rory are not designed to replace schools or teachers. On the contrary, they're designed to make schools and teachers better by bringing children up to a foundational level and arming teachers with the data they need to personalize their own teaching. Furthermore, Rory, by gathering students' data from its interactions, will be able to learn itself, improving its ability to serve the right content at the right time in the right way. I want to finish with a short story about Gifty, or more specifically, Gifty's mum, Gladys, sat on the left-hand side of this photo. We asked Gladys what she thought about Rory, having witnessed her daughter use the technology for a few months. Her answer surprised us. She got animated, even quite upset. She got animated, even quite upset. Why are you only bringing this technology now, she said, when my daughter has been out of school for almost a year? She's right. Children in low-income countries have been failed as they waited for schools to reopen. In an age where we can land rockets on drone ships and beam back live footage from Mars, we should be able to provide personalized learning opportunities for children <laughs> out of school. He agrees. <laughs> I want you to imagine a future where children like Gifty and Ghana can access personalized tutoring at a fraction of the normal cost, yes, um, any time, in any subject, in any language, on any phone. Now imagine that being true for any child in the world. Well, the technology is now available, so it's time we stop imagining it and time we start building it. Thank you very much. Thank you.